welcome back. That's all you're getting for now. <coughs> all right, this is the Squire or Fender Squire. It's made, but it's a Fender guitar. Anyways, it's the Sonic uh, Stratocaster, and it's under three hundred dollars Canadian, which is actually a pretty good deal. Um, half decent tuners, A plus, man. Um, do snug up your nuts because they're going to be a little loose from the factory, okay? Snug them first or it's not going to stay stable. Um, now, I had to do a little bit of a setup on this, and I can only go so far with it because it's a rental. Um, but I had to really jack the height of the saddles up, which also kind of messed a little bit with the radius on how the radius is supposed to be set with the saddle. But it was the only way to get rid of some of the issues. Because um, I am not exactly sure everything that's going on with this thing. Um, but if I buy it, then I'll know more. Um, only because, well, like I said, I can only do so much with the rental. The intonation is finally set. Oh, that was such a nightmare. I actually had to use my Telecaster as the example for all my different lengths, um, except for, well, I did actually get the, the high E to push a little forward. It was sucking back, but it's now forward a bit. Um, but it's as far forward as it's gonna go too, which is pretty pathetic. Um, I think they got their spacing wrong between here and here uh, when they built this thing because, yeah, you shouldn't have to have your saddles like almost in a straight line uh, like that and jammed up so close. Um, but this gives you a good bird's eye of what's actually going on here. Now, keep in mind, it is a lefty guitar, so for you who are ready, think backwards. Uh, but anyway, that's what we got. Our saddle heights are extremely high. And they're pretty much as maxed out as they can go. Um, any higher, it wouldn't be good. Um, as far as the string height goes, it's not too bad. It's actually pretty playable, to be honest. But the neck does have to get lifted so I can suck these suckers back down and change that entire geometry properly the way it should have been out of the factory. Um, also, we still have to widen the slots in the nut or replace the nut, whichever. I've got lots of nuts around here that are, are great. I've got tusk nuts. I've got bone nuts. I mean, I, I'm going to try modifying these first if I buy the guitar. I haven't bought it yet, so I can't mess with this stuff, okay? But um, either way, I mean, I could get the store to do it, but it's like, what's the point? I mean, it's pretty set up now to a certain point, but not where I would actually prefer it to be. Um, in terms of being proper, because this is not proper, uh, especially when your radius isn't set completely correct either. But like I said, it's all we could do for now. So I don't know. I'm, I'm going to have to really inspect the guitar really close. I don't know if we have a slight shift in the neck or, you know, like a slight twist or whatever. But I do know that, you know, the relief is appears to be good, but that doesn't mean that's not causing a lot of our problems in this area either, because that's quite possible. Um, so I, I'm only going to do so much at a time, but either way, the nut slots, although the height is great on this, it's perfect. They didn't make them wide enough to fit the strings properly. So they are being grabbed, which is throwing out intonation, uh, as well, which is causing issues here too, where these have to be jammed so far forward is another part of that problem, but that's a whole lot of jargon. Bottom line is, it's a nice guitar, it plays really well, even the, the way I have it set up right now. It's great for bending strings, um, it's, it's holding its tune reasonably well, can't really complain there. Not even touching the whammy bar, we're not going there, it's already pre-decked from the factory, it can stay that way. Whammy bars on strats, if you know a strat, you know they suck and they don't stay in tune worth a darn. Not without a lot of extra work. And even at that, they really still don't stay very well. If you over bend one way or another, they're going to whack out. These are not Floyd roses, okay? Floyds are nice. You can go or boom with a Floyd and it still stays. I've had enough Floyds to know that. <coughs> but Strat ain't never going to do that stuff and get away with it. Anyhow, but overall for the beginners out there that are watching... This is a pretty good guitar. If you want your first Strat, this is a good Strat. But before you take it home, make sure they do an actual proper setup on this thing. Okay, whether it's a left or right-handed version. And if you are a lefty, just so that you're aware, it only comes in black. It's not an option. But if you want to make it your own, you can get left-handed pick guards. Just make sure you count your screw holes. Make sure you're on par with that uh, for the plates. Um, also, you can change your covers for your pickups. If you don't like them, you can change those out, change your knobs, change, change your 
little flipper knob here for your, your five way. Um, you know, if you really don't like black that much, you can sand the body down, man, and just repaint it whatever way you want. Um, it's kind of your thing once it's your guitar, right? Um, however, with all that being said, my personal opinion, if I do buy this thing, which like I said, I'm still not sure yet, but if I do, the first thing I'm going to do is shift this neck back up where it should be and fix the nut and then start from there and continue resetting up entirely from scratch. So you know I did not change the strings yet, but the G string seems to have calmed down quite a bit uh, since being able to, since raising it up higher. I don't know, there, it, it's definitely got some of that buzz coming from the slot because the slots are too tight. Um, perfect depth, but wrong width uh, for the strings to go through proper. So that's gonna have to be changed. But otherwise, it is a really nice guitar. Whether you're your beginner, intermediate, doesn't matter what level of player you are, you know, I mean, your skills is what's going to make this thing sing or sound like junk. That's the way it goes in the guitar world. It doesn't matter how much you pay or how little you pay. It's, is it set up well? Do you like the sound of it? Do you like how it feels and plays? And do you have skills to make it sing? That's the big thing. And I've even seen non-setup guitars on YouTube videos. There was a Walmart video I watched years ago. A couple guys went in there. They made this first act piece of horrible garbage, razor blade, fretted and all. And this thing is horrible. I wouldn't even give it to a child because it's just not safe with the fret ends. But they made that thing sing. And it's like, that's the skill of the player there. And knowing how to work with what's in their hands. Um, they did a really nice job for just picking it up off the shelf and, you know, giving us a little thing on it. That was, that was pretty impressive, right? But um, I do like the sound of these pickups, um, especially through the Vox amp. It's, they're great. Um, I still have to test this on my studio gear, uh, going through different, um, you know, amp sims and whatnot to see, you know, am I still going to like the sound of the pickups if I'm recording direct in without this amp, okay? Uh, but with this amp, I love the sound of these pickups. They're doing a really nice job, uh, especially on the distortion side because... You know, Strats normally aren't a real good distortion guitar with single coils, um, but it's kind of like, ah, that's why I kind of love my Tele. My Tele does pretty much everything, but um, I wanted another guitar for electric because I only have the one right now and six acoustics, so got to play fair, right? Anyways, um, likelihood is I probably will end up buying this in the end, but I'm still just kind of on the fence a little bit. I want to inspect the neck a little bit closer first uh, before I make my final call on whether or not I'm going to buy this particular unit. But I don't think the neck is the problem other than it's got to be lifted for sure because I'm not seeing any kind of twisting going on. You know, everything there seems pretty decent. You know, there's there's no humps anywhere in the neck. It looks really good. Um, you know, even the fret height is... I haven't checked the fret heights out yet with a rocker, but... I'll get to that. That'll be part of the main setup if I buy it. But otherwise, yeah, I still recommend it. It's still a really decent guitar for the money. Um, and a music store will set this up properly for you. If it needs any fret work to, to get it set up right, they'll do that. And it doesn't cost you anything. You just got to leave it with them for like a week or a couple of days or however long it's going to take. And it's well worth it to have that done for free for you too. But um, yeah, otherwise, I think... Um, for what we've managed to pull off so far, not too bad. And this is a made in Indonesian model, and I usually never, ever have issues with those, but, well, I guess it's the first time for everything, isn't there, <laughs> right? And this is uh, my first time with an Indonesia that just is not um, right that great out of the box completely, but it is pretty good either way. Um, I still can't get over how well the fret work is on this, because that, that's really nice fret work. Um, it's too bad they didn't do the rest of it as good, but, um, I, I can't say everything in a bat, batch is bad. Sometimes you get something like this. Other times you get great, great out of the box. My telly out of the box was absolutely perfect, right? It's one of the newest affinities, um, in the series. I had to do nothing to it. Put a new set of strings on, tune it up, away I go, I play. Uh, action set super low, right out of the box. It's, it's beautiful, right? But uh, sometimes you get that. Other times, you don't, right? This time, I didn't get such a well-off setup. But a lot less hassle than, than the, the last Strat I had, which was a Mexican. 
I believe that was my last strat. But anyways, it doesn't matter. I've had a lot of strats, okay? And from different layers of the Squires, right on up to the Mexican. And um, I've never taken well to a strat. But this thing, I'm actually kind of... I'm on the him ha bass now. This isn't the... Uh, and I'm not going to buy a guitar just to buy one anymore. I'm done with that. I'm only buying stuff that I need to buy. Everything else I'll rent. Um, you know, because it's cheaper to rent, trust me. <laughs> I, I could not believe when Long McQuaid told me how much money I've spent there in the last seven years. I'm like, oh my goodness. Um, never mind what I lost on returns. Uh, but yeah, anyways, that's the, way, that's the way she goes. Nice guitar. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below about this thing. You know, overall, I am actually pretty impressed with it. I like it. I do recommend it. But I also do recommend if you do buy it, no matter what level of player you are, Make sure that you get the store to do a actual proper setup on this thing before you take it home. This way you'll have years and years of great playing with it. Because um, I think it, it can be a very great guitar even for under $300. Anyways, that's all I got for you. So, uh, hey, you know, thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next one. All right, so see ya.